Hey guys, so this is Dominic Android 7 Nougat for my Sony Xperia X. Now this is the original X, not the X of Formula, it's not the XZ, it's the X. Uh, so the video is going to be pretty similar to those, the XZ, the X of Formula, as you already have Nougat on those. Um, but just for those of you who don't know the differences between Nougat and Marshmallow, so I'll be covering in the video. So first difference is if you swipe down once on top of the screen. So here in my left hand I have the Sony Xperia Z5. Uh, actually... Oh, never mind, that was a system update. Oh, uh, yeah, so the Sony Xperia Z5 here on the left hand, this is on Android Marshmallow. And then in my right hand, I got the Sony Xperia X on Nougat. So you're going to notice here at the top, uh, you have this row, these quick settings you can click on. So just for example, if you want to press on airplane mode right there. And then also notifications have been improved in this, more options if you hold down. Now, more differences if you swipe down again. So, just as you see on Marshmallow, um, you don't have those quick settings at the top, but swipe down again. Now, you notice some difference here in the interface. Um, so, on Android Nougat, you do have a second page over here, although it looks like on the X, maybe if I edit this, if I add some to it. So, you do this edit button right here. Uh, I'm just going to drag some over here. And one more. All right, so let's check that out. All right, so yeah, there's the second page right now. So nice feature having the second page edit button. Uh, so yeah, there's more you can do there. Um, and just as you see, different interface overall. Now another major feature is with the manual camera. There's been some added settings here. So just gonna go to manual mode. And then settings, actually right here. And then you see here for the um, shutter speed, you can adjust it. So maybe a bit hard for you all to read, but that makes it easier. So shutter speed right here. And then as I said, you can adjust it. Also, you can change the focus, the manual. Now, I think the biggest change in Android 7 Nougat is split screen multitasking, so let me show you how that works. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up Chrome. And we're going to bring up uh, two sites at the same time, rather two apps at the same time. Alright, so as you see here, I got Chrome up, IGN. Now, if I click here, and then if I select that app, Drag it up towards the top of the screen. You see here, uh, drag here to um, use split screen. So I'm going to drag this up here. And then I can select another app. Uh, no, not, all, not all apps work. Like you see camera here, it says app doesn't support split, uh, split screen, but let's click on settings. Oops, actually, I think I may have closed out of that. Uh, let me just bring up settings. All right. So now you see you got split screen, can adjust the size. And if I want, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, like this, and back to normal. Now, another new feature is double tapping on the button here, bottom right corner, uh, to go back to the previous app you're in. So let's say if I go to settings, and then I can double tap, and back to Chrome, double tap again. See, so I think that's the biggest new feature. Um, so some other ones, if you go into settings. Now there are some changes here at the top, like it tells you if Do Not Disturb is on. Uh, also, if you click on airplane mode, just for example, also where you have that. And you can just press here, turn off. But then if you go into the battery section, and then click on stamina mode or ultra, and I'll show you how it looks on Marshmallow. All right, so here's on a Z5 Marshmallow. Here's stamina mode. You've clicked on that. So just so you see here on Android 7 Nougat, uh, you just have a lot more options that you can do. So I'm just going to turn this on for now. Uh, let me just turn the brightness a little bit. So you see here, you can choose when it auto starts at a certain percentage of the battery. 
Uh, you can always always have it on. You can adjust the stamina level. Go into advanced settings. Now, yes, yeah, you can have the um always on here. Let me see. I don't think you can adjust. Let's see right here. Yeah, I don't think you can adjust on marshmallow the um auto start battery percentage. Actually, stand corrected on marshmallow. You can do that. Uh, but on Android 7, new feature here at the bottom under advanced setting. So you see clicking on stamina right here, uh, stamina level. So you have a few different options. Just uh, gives you more preferences, things that you can, um, different ways to save battery life. And in addition, is you also have Android Doze, a uh, new feature Android N, which is supposed to help, uh, especially when the battery life is getting low. So overall battery is supposed to be improved, but especially when the battery gets low with this, with uh, new stamina mode as well as Doze. Now there's also so, uh, supposed to be speed performance optimizations made. Uh, so I will be doing a uh, speed test comparison between this and other phones. Uh, actually, Sony Xperia X, this is like the one Sony phone that I don't have comparisons up, speed tests up yet on my channel. Uh, so we'll be doing that. But just so you guys can see. Uh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll do one very quick speed test comparison. But just the only difference I noticed between uh, the XZ version of Android 7 and the X version is on the XZ if you swipe to the left like this. See, you bring up Google now. On the X, same with the X performance. On the X performance and the X, if you swipe to the left like that, uh, it's technically swiping rightwards, but from the left side, you don't get that up. Don't have Google now. Um, let's just go ahead and do an app. I think this might be a different version, Temple Run 2, but we try it. Now, the XZ, of course, should be faster. It's not going to 20. Um, yeah, it looks like it is a different version of the app. Yeah, I'll have to download this same exact version of that, but um, we'll be doing a comparison video. Let me see Asphalt 8. That might be the same version. GX looks pretty snappy right now. Yeah, so again, this one's on a different version as well. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download uh, a bunch of apps for the X, and then I'll do some speed tests in the next few days. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for this in the future. Um, and thanks again for watching.